Saturday the 19th of May was an amazing day. Chelsea won the FA Cup final. Meghan and Harry got married. But I will remember it as the day I interviewed the presenter and commentator, Paul O'Neill. We weren't prepared to shoot the vlog ourselves, with even my sister offering to do some filming. And based on the feedback about the sound quality on my previous vlogs and reviews, we brought a new lapel mic. When we arrived, one of the producers offered for a proper cameraman, and not my dad, to do the filming, which was amazing. I got to use Paul's mic too. As they were setting everything up, they could see I was getting a bit nervous, so they all helped me calm down, which was really nice. We'll do, it as do it as many times as you want, because like, I have to do sometimes three or four takes. But I think. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, lads. <laughs> <laughs> commentators for the British Touring Car Championship. So what do you like the most about your job? Oh, that's a, that's a real direct question straight away. What do I like most about my job? I reckon, Vincent, my, the best thing about my job is being with my friends, but also being around cars and just everything I used to race. And all my friends are actually either racing here or they work in the television. So I'm really lucky, mate. So how much research do you have to do before the start of the season or in the middle of races? So, before we get going, uh, like for round one of British Touring Cars, there's lots of teams and changes and different drivers coming along, um, but not also that, because I commentate on the support races and things, I have to go to all the test days um, that I don't get paid for, which is not a problem, that's part of your prep work, and then you go and speak to the teams and you speak to the team managers, and just basically, just, just speak to as many people as you can and get as much knowledge and information as you can, but things change in the year as well, so I just try and keep up to date on social media and things like that. Um, how do you know what questions to ask? <laughs> I don't. Um, I have somebody uh, called Martin Reardon, who's, uh, who's my kind of like boss, and he gives me a heads up um, and says, you might want to ask this question, or it would be good if you did that, and then it's up to me, or it's up to you as the presenter, um, to, to put your spin on it. So I think, you know, you always try to be yourself, but always try and take information off everybody that you respect that you're working for. That's the best way to do it, I think. Do you still get nervous before like a start of like the interview or, or anything? No, no I do. Um, I'll be really honest with you. Um, I, I can get really bad anxiety, so I can get really nervous. Um, there's a lot of people that watch British Touring Cars. You know, I'm a person, you know, probably like yourself, you always worry about what people think about what you're, you know, doing and saying. I don't like being judged, but that's life, um, and, you know, I try and deal with it as best as I can, but at the same time, if you're not nervous, you don't care. So, have you ever made a mistake on live TV? <laughs> you're too young to tell that. I can't tell you. No, I've made quite a few mistakes, um, actually big ones. I can't really go into depth with them. They weren't terrible, terrible ones, but I look back and it's probably made me the person who maybe people know at home now because it's just me um, and me being who I am and I've done these mistakes obviously by accident um, and people have laughed at them and you know as long as you're not malicious or you're not horrible I think you're okay um, yeah I've just asked the wrong questions at the wrong time and yeah it didn't go down too well it didn't get ITV fine so it was okay um, who chooses the Twitter comments and questions that you ask Wow, what a great question. All right, okay, so I will have somebody who looks after Twitter, um, and that will be uh, one of the guys who works for ITV, and it changes sometimes, but they have an iPad, they have a filter with a proper, um, with a proper graphic and everything, and they pick some questions that they think I'd probably like, and then I pick the ones out of that, and then we make an agreement, we pass it by the series editor, who's Simon Parry this weekend, and he says yes, no, yes, no, yes, bang, and that's it, done. Um. You've driven British Touring Cars and British GT, but which one is your most favourite? Simple. British Touring Cars. Best ever championship, close racing, fast cars, loads of fans, lovely people. Great day out. Love it. British GT is great, but the action isn't as, as fantastic as British Touring Cars. Um, what BTC car from this season would you like to drive? Ooh, from this season? Honda Civic of Jack Goff. That looks like the car at the minute that's the best. It looks like it can go anywhere and do the job. 
it's just excellent. We're having, you know, a great season, but Jack Goff in that Honda Civic, that would be the car I would choose. Um, who's your favourite for the championship? Oh, you put me on the spot here today. I did say Colin Turgenton at the beginning of the year. If, you, if I was a betting man, I would say, I would say Colin Turkington will probably drag it back. Um, and I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to stick with Colin Turkington in the BMW. <laughs> um, what do you do when you're not commentating? When I'm not commentating, I have a couple of hobbies. Go bike riding, bit of cycling. Um, I like playing football and I like playing golf. And that, they're about the only things I do because I'm always working. It's a nightmare. <laughs> So we asked this in Jack Goff's interview um, and see if we can test you. Do you know all the corners of the Brands Hatch GP circuit in order? Yes, do you want me to do them? Yep. Turn one, Paddock Hill Bend. Turn two, Druids. Graham Hill Bend is third. Onto the back straight is Surtees. Then it goes into Hawthorns. Then it's Westfield. Then it's Dingle Dell. Then it's Stirlings. And it's Clearways. I know they shocked you then, sorry. Yes, O'Neill wins. Um. How many sock monkeys do you own and what are their names? I've got two sock monkeys and I haven't got names for them, but one's for Diabetes UK and one's for the Race of Remembrance. I think O'Neill is on the back of one of them, so they ain't got proper names. Um, what advice would you give to someone who would want to be a commentator when they're older? Do something like your dad is making you do. Come and speak to someone who does it. Um, always be around motorsport. And do you know what I do before, before I used to commentate? Was get a video, turn it down, commentate on it, find out all the names and just play it back and see what it sounds like. Best bet. So thank you for your time Paul and uh, see you soon. You will do fella, <laughs> yes. Once the interview had finished the producers and asked if I'd like to do another bit of filming with Paul that was going to be used on social media. That was really cool and I caught the mic first take but Paul wasn't ready so he did it again and I still caught it. Nice, I'm at Thruxton with, here with Paul. Uh, grow up, mate. Um, that's my job and my microphone. Vince, how's it going, fella? You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Um, you're a bit out of breath there, mate. How was that spin for you? Was that pretty cool? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and what's going on today? So you're with your dad, you're with your sister. What, what's, what's happening? You were Jack Goff as well, I was hearing. Yeah, so we came to Thruxton and we basically we, we came to interview you and then tomorrow we're here to enjoy the racing. <laughs> How did the interview go with me, mate? I must admit, it's like one of the most professional people I've ever seen and even Kieran the cameraman said you got massively good etiquette, mate. Well, <laughs> it's amazing to interview you, obviously, because like, you're one of the commentators for the British Touring Car Championship. That's like an amazing thing to tell my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you want to do when you're older then? Yeah. And what, what do you want to commentate on? British or anything? Anything. Oh, my word, top man. Listen, let's get looking down the camera. Join us tomorrow. It's 11.15. What channel is it on? ITV Sport. Yeah! I'd like to finish by saying thank you to Paul and everyone at ITV Sport. That was an amazing weekend that I'll remember for the rest of my life. Bye.